Hello! If you're anything like me, you've probably watched every single episode of Forged in Fire at least three times and subscribed to about half the channels on YouTube that have anything to do with forging. Also, if you're like me, you've probably never forged a day in your life. Well, today, that's going to change. Now, I don't claim to be an expert, but I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on this, which is the modern day equivalent of a PhD. And like me, you probably noticed that it seems that you can make forge burners out of some steel pipe, some iron fittings, and maybe a couple of hose clamps. Now, after watching a few of the videos out there, I wasn't able to get all of the parts that they had, so there's going to be a little bit of figuring out that I'm going to have to do. But here's basically how it's going to go together. I've got this 8 inch length of 3 quarter pipe. This is a 3 quarter intersection. And there we go, we're halfway done, right? Now for the end of the torch, I wasn't able to get uh, one and a half to three quarter fitting. I, all they had at the store was half inch. So I did it this the stupid way and welded on a, a three quarter coupling. It's not the way I would recommend doing it, but it's what I have available. So it's what's going on here. From here, I've got a three quarter to half inch reducer. Now for the next part, this is where it's going to get a little dumb because I couldn't find all the stuff that I ideally wanted. I've seen some guys use things like a MIG welding tip that they thread into here to get the gas in. There's a bunch of different styles out there, but I'm going to use what I have handy in the shop. And that is this little length of grounding rod that I had left over. I opened up this half inch threaded coupling and jammed it through so it's a bit of a press fit. Now what I'm going to do is very painfully drill through this so that the gas can come out and we'll shove her right in there like that. get the hole through almost the entire length of this piece of steel I had to switch out to a larger diameter drill bit this is about 3 8 in diameter and my drill press does not like it it's stalling about every three seconds or so I'm not sure how many horsepower this motor is I don't think a horse is even an appropriate animal to compare it to if anything maybe something like a wombat or a quokka this motor could definitely be one or two quokka power Needless to say, this is pretty slow going, but we're going to get through it. So this regulator that I'm using is eight kilograms per hour. So that's what, something like 20-ish pounds per hour? I think 20 pounds, that sounds about right. That's not right. Uh, there needs to be way more air because I don't want to see any yellow flame here. So, okay, so this fire is still obviously nowhere near hot enough. I want to make sure that the flame is completely blue basically the whole way, if at all possible. So, I'm going to play around with some distancing of different things. I'm going to play around with uh, the distance between the gas outlet and the 8 inch tube and a few things like that. Wiggle things around and see if I can get a better result. Well, that's a little better, um, but I still want to completely get rid of that yellow flame. Um, so, 
Yeah, that's definitely airflow because when I restrict the airflow, it gets even more yellow. Um, I'm thinking that maybe one of the reasons it's not getting much air is because I'm at high altitude. I'm at 8,500 feet. Um, maybe at a lower altitude, it would be fed through, but I think right here, it's the oxygen is at like 20% less of what it's at at sea level. Um, so I'm going to do something that's probably stupid. I'm going to try drilling some holes in here and see if that helps get more air going through and we can get a hotter flame there. So there you have it. There is my homemade forge burner. But if there's anything that my BS PhD in blacksmithology has taught me, it's that while one burner is good, two is even better. Man, I've been running these burners for like 30 seconds in here and my shop is so much hotter. I'm definitely gonna have to move this stuff outdoors. Anyway, I'm obviously not ready for blacksmithing yet. I still have to come up with a forge and I'm gonna need to come up with my own anvil. So those are future builds and if you wanna see them, make sure you're subbed to the channel. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me guys. I'll see you next time.